Do you want to stand out in high school, worship Satan and turn your D&D roleplay videos into music videos? Do you want to look like a cute mauled panda? Does your local church look a bit cold to you? Then I got the genre for you. Norsk svart metal. La oss til besatan mens du spiser brunost. Norwegian black metal is what would happen if a Scandinavian teenager had more abstin than blood in his system. It's basically a bunch of guys who are trying to express their anger while having no idea how to record or play their instruments. A lot of it sounds like basement recording in a cheap cassette with no sense of balance. Which most of it was, by the way. The genre takes both inspiration from thrash metal and death metal, then drown it in cave reverb and vocal squeaks higher than your average frog. But first, you have to understand Norway. It's a filthy, overpopulated place filled with politeness, bright clothes, and a refusal that fascism was rather accepted back in World War II. Then the 90s happened. Everything was dark, miserable, plenty of unburned churches, and radio music sounded like this. No, please stop! So black metal came out as a response to the traditional Christian values by the Norwegian culture, completely ignoring the Norwegian punk movement that happened at the same time, by the way. Most of the members had their own cults, like the Black Inner Circle, where edgy teenagers would hang out in a record shop. Well, it's nice to see you, but we gotta... Oh, let's listen to more demo tapes, right? The group's goal was to voice their anti-Christian values and hatred for humanity by trying to conquer Norway with evil. Has evil conquered Norway? Yes. Anyway, it got to the point where everyone tried to out-evil each other in a jerk-off circle. This includes vandalism, church burning, killing each other and killing that killer to prove they're more evil. Most famous one was Vardy Vikernes, who was part of the church burning and stabbed someone in the head. That's one way to make a unicorn, I guess. Then most of them were arrested for various crimes, including satanic decorations, explosives, and no sense of regret for what they did. And for one brief moment, Norway was interesting. But now the Norwegian black metal community actually makes music and is now dominated by edgy teens joking about church burning. You win some, you lose some, I guess. Actually, I wonder what Varg Vigren is doing these days. So what are the top five reasons for why Europe is flooded with non-European immigrants? Let's find out. Ah, he's making Watch Mojo content, but somehow more racist. How do you even manage that? Anyway, let's talk about something more fun. The fun fact! One time, a band called Mayhem was staying at a cabin, writing songs, and they all hated each other. Then the band member, Dead, killed himself with a shotgun to live up to his nickname. He left a suicide note saying sorry for the blood, cheers, along with an apology for firing a shotgun indoors. Euronymous was the one who discovered the suicide scene, but instead of calling the ambulance like a normal person, he ran to the store, bought a camera, and took some photos. He even rearranged the scene like placing the shotgun more in frame. Then he took fragments of the skulls, turned them into pretty necklaces, and sent them to various members of the metal community. The suicide photo was used as an album cover on one of their bootleg albums. Uh, we have fun here. Now, what is the difference between Norwegian black metal and regular black metal? Uh, hmm. Basically, it's black metal made in Norway, and that's it. It's just branding, really. So the biggest step is to be Norwegian. That was easy. But first, let's talk about being true cult. Yes, it's spelled like that. No, I don't know why. True cult, or as we say in Norway, true cult is a positive way of describing underground black metal. It's basically modern day black metal hipster slang, so you're not cult if anyone has heard of you. It's also a way of saying cool, like, dude, that was so cult. Like your gnarly tones and your unpronounceable name, it's so mm, cult. A cool way of describing sound, album art, limited edition black metal vinyls, and the impending doom you feel when a record label wants to sign you. So let's talk about how to make your black metal very cult as fuck. By the way, if you're a cult, it doesn't apply to you. Just like pop music, black metal is all about fashion. Music is optional. The essential fashion choice is black on black with panda makeup and spikes. The spikes create a lot of accidental death via group hugs. The black metal makeup is inspired by Kiss and that one time Slayer put on eyeliner. But every black metal band tries to make it their own by adding different shapes and drips on them. It's like playing shapes and colors with kids, you know. Find the right shape for your face, Billy. Andreas! Do you have any money for makeup? 
It's for the black metal thing. I, I'm trying to pay down my student debt, and, I, and makeup is just super expensive. Dang it. I'm keeping this! Album cover! Make it look like an old Norse painting and throw in some trees. Bitches love them some trees. Or just take a photo of yourself making a face, make it black and white and boost the threshold. If not, just get a photo of yourself making the most awkward pose you can think of. I call this one the crib! <laughs> Band names! Just call yourself after some dark fancy place. Preferably Lord of the Rings. Seriously, Norwegians have a massive hard-ons for Tolkien. Or something evil and related to winter. Also, give yourself an edgy name and call it a day. Why call yourself Olav Norman Magnussen when you can be known as Dödeman Denunna? But now, the most important part. Music videos! Buy an antique VHS camera and film yourself digging around in the forest while pretending someone will take this seriously. Optionally, film it in winter. And now for the most optional part. The music. All you need is the band standard. Guitar, drums, bass, screamer, and goat. The goat is for later. Guitars and black metal sound like crap. They use a lot of cheap solid state combo amps, so all you have to do is lower the bass and throw in some reverb. You know that joke that punk rock only uses three chords? Well, black metal only uses two chords. Take that, anarchist. Just go half step up or half step down. Done. Tremolo picking is built into the genre, so learn to masturbate furiously and you'll be a master in no time. Feel free to throw in some long chords, broken chords, and some groovy chords. If you want an easy mode guitar scale, harmonic minor or Phrygian dominant is cult enough. Bass. Surprisingly, bass actually does something more than just exist. Bass players didn't really care about tone, so just throw on a distortion pedal, play random notes and hope no one notices your mistake. Vocals. Scream like an aggressive cat or like you got kicked in the balls. Drums. It's either all blast beat or find the nearest Norwegian pop band. But can you do blast beat in 6-8? I don't think so. But it's gonna be loud and full of reverb so few people will notice your mistakes. The sloppier the more cult. But the best part is that you don't need a lot of cymbals. Just hi-hat, ride and one or two crashes. Overuse the hi-hat and ride until they break. And now for something really optional. Synth. Oh yeah! Play those church chords. Have you forgotten who our enemies are? Stop it! Most synth players barely play more than one note at a time. They just play one note to add a simple sustaining drone to the song. So just play one note and you're settled. And now for the goat. That's for decoration. Norwegian black metal is not just about fashion, but also stage presence. The stage is your canvas, gallons of pig blood is your paint, and you are the paintbrush. Norwegian black metal is like theater production, to so decorate the stage with your heart's desire to make it come to life and maybe play some music. Just remember that your roadies are gonna hate you. And now for the even more least important part. Have you heard of Satan? Cause black metal artist sure has. You can also take inspiration from Lovecraft, Poe, D&D, Barney the Dinosaur, all equally dark influences. Make sure to sing about castles, sacrifices, Satan, demon, family values and Satan. But don't you ever forget about Satan. But also remember, rhyming is optional. The important thing is that the lyrics are overly story driven and full of dark imagery. Hoo <laughs> I'm so cold. So just tell a weird horror story about Satan or something. Pretend you're a narrator of a DIY Lord of the Rings short film, with all the same quality as your music videos. Uh, winter black as the blackest night. Evil presence standing there cold. Satan watching you from a distance, masturbating to my song. Sacrifice or go to 50. Evil, dark, Satan, good. Nailed it. Optionally, make it more verbose. So just copy each word into thesaurus.com, replace it with something more fancy, and you got instant blackmail lyrics. I think I accidentally wrote an immortal song. Oh well. 
back in the day they couldn't afford fancy schmancy recording stuff, do you think edgy teens who devote their life to Satan and arson has any money? What they would mostly do is just get a cassette recorder, place it in the middle of band practice, and call it a day. The cassette became a popular aesthetic for the black metal sound. Even modern black metal artists spend more time making their mix sound vintage rather than good. We're gonna show you how to make black metal like a normal person and then show you how to make it sound like crap. Or as the kids call it, true cult. Set your project to around 220 BPM in 6.8 for the most evil rhythm. Load up your drum minion and get a drum set with a clicky kick and some nice reverb. Get at least three types of drum patterns and copy paste. Your drum patterns are blast beat, groove thing, and ding ding ding. See, it goes ding ding ding. Load up your guitar with a distortion pedal or 20. Set the low and mid down and the high and presence to 11. Then add some reverb on them. Bitches love reverb. Bass can exist. Don't forget the distortion. When adding vocals, add a bit of gain and delay on it. When mixing, make sure the cave is neat and comfy. Now to get that cassette effect, add your most evil EQ on the master track, cut out the bass and a bit of the top. Optionally, add your fancy synth. Now let's see how cult this became. Congratulations! You're now a true cult underground Norwegian arsonist. 
Now press some cassette tapes and some vinyls and don't tell anyone you exist. Eh? You can't let people know you exist, then you're not cult anymore. But I wanna share my music. No, you can't. Droneers Black Metal, the end! Hva?